Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be doing a should you pull for Tomo. Don't forget to sub and leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So as you can see, this is going to be her page on JP. And don't be fooled by the C rank right here. She is going to be S rank for the next couple of CBs. But just note in the future, she will get power creep. But she is extremely strong for the current present game. All right. So she's top class damage and not to mention she can self buff her UB, which means she has TP recovery and her UB frequency is quite high after she casts it for the first time so her ub is absolutely insane because she increases her attack power and then she also increases her action speed and not to mention she will increase her own tp or recover her own tp with her rank two she's gonna be a powerhouse and i've been hearing she's only second to a couple of units when it comes to physical damage so if you are someone who wants a high single target damage character tomo is going to be trumping Arisa probably because Arisa benefits to the fact that she can sit in the back and she can you know deal some damage but tomo is going to be triggering her ubs more often because she's going to get hit and that's why kauri makoto trigger their ubs more often because they get hit and then here's going to be her skill cycle as you can see her initial action is she boosts her own tp and then she does her attack and then after she does a normal attack she's going to boost her tp again so right around this time frame she's probably going to be triggering her ub and by the time she triggers her ub she's also going to be increasing her action speed further increasing the fact that she's going to be a power house so here's going to be the ironclad event we're not going to talk about it yet but we're going to go ahead and run tomo so you can see what she's like just note that she's only rank six and actually there's not very many units that can complete this stage at rank six you know solo so as you can see there she has like some pretty nice animation she does like that little jump right there and then as you can see that's going to be her ub absolutely cool animations pretty chill for a character but you can see she boosts her tp as soon as she starts in the battle and personally speaking i think whenever she does her like little jump she increases her own tp and she's an absolute beast like and she's a little bit different and i like how in your animations you can definitely tell what's going to be occurring and what's happening she might fall here oh wait no she pulls it together and yeah look at that so there's not very many characters that can do this you know i've done this showcase with like kyoka and some other characters and she's one of the few that can actually complete it by herself granted she's level 129 but it's just really cool that tomo is going to be a pretty decent looking character in my opinion now the question is though is should you pull for Tomo knowing that she has this capability of she can increase her own TP or recover her own TP. It's a question of whether you want to be in top 50 in clan battle or not or if you want to support your clan. Tomo is going to be a permanent unit. There's no real reason for normal free to play players to pull for her. Aside of the fact that she's waifu, you're probably going to be getting her in future banners. And as you can see as far as her placements goes, she's actually not in the front like Kaori and she sits somewhat in the back near like like the Tomikis, you really don't have to worry about her like being in front of like any tanks or anything, which I think is pretty good. Overall, I feel like she's not really a must pull for most folk, and it's just really for the few and far between people who just want like an absolute powerhouse. You're probably going to want to save your gems for future banners because Christina is going to be right around the corner, and then the New Year's Yui plus Christina banner is also going to be there. And just note that when New Year's Yui and Christina banner appears, there's also going to be free pulls during that time frame but arena reset is right around the corner as well i don't think that has occurred yet but for the most part we will have a surplus in jewels i just don't think it's that advised to pull for most people unless you're highly competitive and you want to help out your clan and push to top ranks but even then like only top 50 is really worth it the difference between top 25 and top 10 is like 2000 jewels but it's also like the difference between like notoriety and everything just note that i will be doing pulls on tomo because i want to help out the clan and hopefully even if we don't reach top 10 i want us to definitely guarantee top 25 but top 10 would definitely be super cool let's go ahead and jump out of this i don't want to do this again what's really nice is in jp they're actually doing free pulls right now the 3.5 anniversary is currently occurring so let's go ahead and do some pulls in jp and i believe the rates are probably six percent right now we can check afterwards no rainbows right here and that is actually pretty good because i don't want to trigger any folks i know when i was doing pulls the other the day it was not like the greatest when flexing my luck that was not like the point of the video the point of the video was to show that the luck is really good in pre-con right now you can see here it's six percent rates in jp and it's mostly because there's an influx of a lot of characters in jp so i feel like three percent is pretty good for them because they have so many people that they have to summon for look at this we got like five golds in this one that's actually a lot so we're not going to go through all of that as you can see here the luck in jp is definitely there in my opinion like i don't need rainbows to tell you 
tell you guys that there's like luck occurring in this and i wish you all luck for the jp players let's go ahead and do some arena over here and give you guys my rough thoughts on tomo overall personally speaking i don't feel like anyone should really be pulling for tomo just because we're still recovering from all the summer banners that we just had i know all the like top 50 clans the ones that want to stay in top 50 are probably going to pull for tomo the reason being is because tomo is going to be dealing a lot of damage with her union burst because as soon as she deals her union burst once she's just going to keep snowballing herself where she keeps increasing her action speed she's going to keep increasing her overall attack power and then she's just going to deal more and more damage as like the fight flows technically jita can sort of do it but jita doesn't increase her own attack speed and jita doesn't hit as hard as tomo and erisa can't do it because erisa sits in the back and tomo sits in the front so tomo will be able to you know generate more tp like we talked about earlier and i feel like a lot of clans already know that she is just going to be the difference between someone who sits in like the top three even i don't really have to say that because i know a lot of the top clans already know that tomo's kind of a required pull for them but it's just something to take into account for you're more than likely going to pull tomo on either the christina banner or the new year's yui banner when there's going to be double rates and like the three stars are just raining down and that is where you can dump your jewels because just know when tomo does appear her banner is not going to have like the double rates right and that's something just to take into account because you don't want to pull when the rates are essentially 2.5 percent you want to pull when they're five percent and i know sometimes rate up is a lie but the thing is is you're probably going to have a higher chance pulling a rainbow in general it feels much better to pull on a lot of rainbows coming back to back to back because that's what the prefest banners sort of do you got a taste of it with summer tamaki because i know some folks were able to pull at least you know one rainbow during the free pulls which is nice because even when free pulls occur majority of the time you can't even get run rainbow but in the future we will be getting you know that one rainbow i like to see like just the free to play stuff occurring in princess connect and don't worry i'm still going to be playing princess connect we'll do like a clan battle prep for the upcoming one in august and personally speaking that one looks like it's going to be tough just because it looks tankier from what i can tell but a lot of like the clans who are going to be top performers are just the ones where there's more meta characters i think moving forward like tomo's going to be the character and then after that once christina rolls around and everyone gets a christina when her banner appears i feel like the playing field will be level set but in the previous clan battles it was more or less like hey can you find the team comp this upcoming clan battle is just going to be like do you have tomo and do you have her at four star or five star because you can't leave her at three star apparently three star is not enough in case you want her to perform in clan battle so even if you pull her you're probably going to be dumping some divine amulets on her so she can stay alive because she is going to be a frontline character all right but that's going to be the should you pulls for tomo like i said not recommended for most folk just because it's not really going to help everyone and it's mostly for specifically on clan battle and there were some notes where technically she could sort of perform in luna tower but we don't know when luna tower is going to be appearing but just know she's going to be great for single target damage because that's what her ub is going to be good at and then i think her other attack is going to be like good for all enemies within range but it's not going to attack everyone but anyways if you made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter once we hit 27,500 subs we're doing a giveaway thanks so much for watching have yourself a fantastic day and hopefully i will see you in the next one